Hi guys, it's Amy with A2Z Stamping, and today I'm going to make a simple card using the Best Birds stamp set. This is a really fun stamp set. Um, it has, there's a couple birds, uh, lots of sentiments, congratulations, thoughts for you, it's a good day. On your wedding day, happy birthday and happy anniversary. There's a branch, uh, some flowers that go along, and then this sort of like background image that's fun to use. And then there's also a coordinating set of framelits. And they are called the Burns and Blooms, oh, Thinlets dies. So there's birds, the outlines of birds. I've got a couple out. There's the branch that we'll be using, small birds. So anyway, this is a really fun set to own. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so let's do our stamping first. I just have a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock here, and I'm going to stamp the branch and the bird that's facing I guess once he's, once he's stamped, he's facing to the right. And then the happy birthday. And I'm gonna be stamping everything in early espresso ink. So, okay, so the branch, let's do the branch first. So I'm just gonna ink that up. And I'm gonna stamp that right here. Perfect, all right. Let me grab my scrub here. Clean that off. Okay, that's all done. And then I want to stamp my bird, so I'm going to ink that up. Okay. And these are photopolymer stamps, so I can see through it. I'm going to stamp my bird right here. Press, lift, okay, clean that off. And then I wanted to add a little bit of color, so I have my Pear Pizzazz Stampin' Write marker, and I'm just going to color in my leaves. Um, so the Stampin' Write markers, they have a fat end that's for using on your stamps, and then they have a skinny end for journaling. And uh, you can get the Pear Pizzazz marker that I'm using. It either comes in the Subtles collection, where you get all 10 of the Subtles, or you can get it in the Many Marvelous markers, where you get all of our markers. And then on my bird, I just want to give him some green feathers. Okay, that's down here. Not anything too serious. I just want to bring in a little bit of color. Okay, there we go. Okay, and really quick, this last happy birthday is going right here. So I have some Pear Pizzazz cardstock. This was cut at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So it's a standard A2 size. Grab my bone folder here. Okay, and I'm gonna stamp the happy birthday straight onto my card base. I'm gonna go right here. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it in this bottom right corner. Right there, happy birthday. Perfect, okay, and that's all my stamping. All right, I have to cut out these two images with my Big Shot, and then we can put our card together. So let me grab my Big Shot here. Actually, I think I'm gonna put it this way. Okay, and let me lay those on here. I just have the standard um, base, the thing, die adapter, a cutting plate. Okay, and so I'm going to lay this one on top of my branch, and this one cuts out my bird. Okay, put those right over the top. Put my top plate down, and crank it through. Okay, sorry guys, I think my face is in the picture. All right, that's all I need with that. Let me move that out of the way. Grab these off. Okay, so we can punch both these out. Set those aside. All right, so I have my bird and my branch. Cute, right? All right, so here we can put our card together. Okay, so here's my card base. Now I have two pieces of designer series paper from the, uh, this is actually from the coffee break. Uh, sweet, but I liked these colors. So I have one piece of designer series paper that I cut at five and a half by two and a quarter. All right, and then the second piece here is cut at three by two and a half. All right, so what I'm going to do um, is I want to glue this one down first, but I'm going to take some ribbon. This is our Pear Pizzazz Shimmer Ribbon, and I just want a little piece. Where are my snips? little piece so just a little bit longer okay and I'm gonna 
wrap it around right here on the inside. I'll grab my snail. And I'm gonna stick this down. One and two. Let me make sure that's lined up right where I want it. Okay, and while it's upside down, I'm gonna put my adhesive. One, two. I like to cover the ribbon. Okay, so I want my ribbon facing the inside of the card, and I want to get as close to the edge as I can. All right, and press. Then I'm going to take this one, adhesive, and this one's going to go right here, just above my happy birthday. All right, right over the top. Okay, and then with these guys, I'm going to do dimensionals. So on the back of my branches, I'm going to do mini dimensionals. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. I want it to really stay, so I think I'll go with five. And on the back of my bird, I'm going to just do regular dimensionals. One, two, and three. Okay, so let's peel all these off. One, two, three. I guess coming for dinner tonight, so I need to go get dinner started. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. Come on. Okay, so first I'm going to put my branch on. Isn't that branch so cute? Okay, it's going to go just right here, sticking off the end a little bit, and then my bird is going to go right here on top. All right, and there's my card. All right, isn't that so sweet? And here's one I did earlier. This basically the exact same card. Can you see it close up? Isn't that cute? So simple. So this Best Bird stamp set is really fun, um, especially when you have the uh, thinlets that go along with it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this card. Check me out at a2zstamping.com. Thanks guys. Bye.